and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you an easy metallic text effect. Nothing complex, we'll just start with a black background and a type tool. You press Ctrl A and make it white so that we can see it. Let me maybe use 350. And I use Arial Heavy, you should have that inbuilt, so if you want to use the same font, pick that. Now I use the alignment tool, I left click on the text and I use the function horizontal and vertical alignment. I'll go to this text layer, right click and alpha to selection, so this is now selected. I create a new layer, it's important that it's transparent. It's on top and it's active, so let me make this invisible and you can see the outline. I use the gradient tool. I've got foreground to background selected. And now I want to use a light and a dark gray color. So the foreground light, background dark. And now I use the gradient, left click, I hold control and go downwards. Maybe something like this. Now I go to select a none and you can see what we've got. The next step is to go to colors and use the curves adjustment. I've got the preview checked. And now you want to simply create like a wave, something like this. And the more of these waves, so the more ups and downs you have in your curve, the more of these gradient stripes will be created in your metallic text. You can see that I can adjust them by dragging the peaks to the right hand side. I'm fine with this one, I'll just confirm it. Final step, go to filters, then go down to Noise and use H as V noise. Value is the most important here. You don't want to go too high as you're going to have too much noise then. Darling, I want to go up. You, you won't see much at this point when I've zoomed out that much and saturation the same. And we can also randomize it with seed right here. So just click on new seed, which will be randomized. Well, you know what, let me do it again. And I'll zoom in. You can see it better when I do it like this. So with the values that I've used so far, we've got a little bit of a colored noise thanks to the saturation. So let me do it once more. I press Ctrl Z and I go to filters, noise, HSV noise. Darling, I go up and value, I keep it somewhat at around, let's say 15%. Saturation, I go down because I don't want to have it colored. The hue doesn't really have an impact. And you see it once again, it randomizes it. But depending on how far you zoom out, you're not going to see much of a difference anyway. But for this tutorial, it was better to zoom in. And this is the process that I use to create a metallic text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.